We have breaking news. We have breaking news, everyone. That Tobin Heath has started in the Arsenal versus Tottenham game. Uh, this is true. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I hope this video is going to make sense. So, what we're going to do right now, we are going to kind of react to to Tobin starting her hugging a special someone in the stands and then we actually recorded a video a couple days ago about the first game that she played in um on sunday against man city so we kind of putting these two videos in one um, but this is kind of just a snap reaction and then uh look for timestamps down below about uh, the game, you know, where Kristen was on the big screen and all that good stuff. So look for timestamps. But this is just going to be our immediate reaction today from the Tottenham Arsenal game. Um, and I will say, I will say, it was it was a jolly good time. <laughs> what the heck? It was a North London derby. So derby, derby, derby. derby. Is it derby or derby? Der derby, derby, derby. Oh. Well, it was today. It was Tottenham v Arsenal, and. I mean, you never know who's going to start these games. You know, it's a midweek game. It's a Wednesday game. But our girl Tobin, our girl Tobin was starting. Yeah, yeah. Um, so she was starting. And it was exciting to see her, especially because uh, they, since it was a midweek game, they, they, they kind of changed up the lineup a little bit. Viv didn't play. Actually, Viv didn't start and Viv didn't even play at all. But um, has Tobin replaced Viv? Oh, comments down below. I'm Coming up next. joking. <laughs> Jake. Next. But Jordan Nobbs played. Oh, twins played. Twins. Oh, it's Tobin and Jordan. Separate dimension <gasps> twins. Tobin Jordan. I oh, <gasps> I've got that too. I have just passed out. Um, but yeah, they. It was a fun game. They won. It was five one. Um, Arsenal. It, Tobin looked so good the first half. I, I, full disclosure, I watched the second half. The first half, I watched it on replay, and she looked so good. I specifically like that shot of her um, her calves, her legs, and then of her socks. Well, <laughs> Arsenal got new socks this year. They have the stripes on them, which I really like. Oh, I'm allergic to stripes. Oh, dear. I'm allergic so. to wool and acrylic. So, Sarah. Uh, so, <laughs> but I will say the thing that um, the commentators on the BBC broadcast, we were watching on the, another broadcast, but the BBC, they were going wild for Tobin. The first half, she looked great. She got an assist. She got wild. She got wild. She went wild. It was amazing. Tobin so, gone wild. But they were really hyping her up on the BBC broadcast. But, I mean, the game was great. We liked it. I, I, we're going to talk about this in the second half, Kristen being at the first game. But we're, we're going to go right to it. Did we think Kristen was going to be at this game? I don't know. I mean, it was 50 50. I didn't. You did. I didn't think about it. Yeah. But no. So there was no indication that she was going to be in there, which, you know, there necessarily wouldn't have. I, I, she w she normally tweets us or DMs <laughs> us and lets us know. Gives us the inside. But, you know, the 411. But not today. No, no. But no. apparently, somebody like on Tumblr said that they saw her there. So it was kind of like, okay, but we didn't see any pictures or anything until drum roll, the very end. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. hey. At the very end, thank, thank, thank goodness for the BBC broadcast because Tobin... Thank goodness for cameras. Tobin, right for the hug, right to the stands. And who it was, was it? Cute. It was so cute. He hugged Kristen. She was there. Um, and then also, I don't even know if Sarah did this. Arsenal did a highlight to the game against... Oh, highlight to the game. They included the hug from Tobin and Kristen in the highlights of the game. All right, they, I, don't know, I don't know. So that was one of the highlights of the game was the hug between Tobin and Kristen. They would. That's not funny, though. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Uh, but she was there. I saw the hug because they... It was just on the BBC broadcast, but it was so cute. And apparently... Um, Kristen was like holding a, a pen and a piece of paper almost like maybe she wanted an autograph of somebody oh or yeah something. she probably wanted Tobin's autograph yeah Tobin's autograph for hey maybe sell it for um hundreds of dollars oh yeah that's what I would she do make some money that way but she was there it was so cute um we just wanted to comment on that because the second part of our video is going to be us talking about the Man City Arsenal game um and then we're going to talk about Kristen being at the first game so look for a timestamp down below we're still shook uh about that and like i said are we going to see her at every arsenal home game maybe yes maybe no who knows i probably not it's kind of one thing until i see her there and she's on the big screen i, I don't really think either which way whether she's going to be there what did you guys think we're going to go on to part two of the video but that hug that hug it was a hug scene around the world i felt it I, I truly felt it in my heart. Uh, it was so cute. Kristen looks so, like, proud. You know, given everything aside, it doesn't even matter what the situation is. She just looks like such a proud... I'm proud to be a Tobin fan. <laughs> I knew you were going this there. I knew you were going there. I even stood up for that. Oh, did you? I did. Yeah. I, she you, did. You, you saw it. it. You saw it. I don't know where they she was going. But you did. 
what did you guys think? Look out for part two. And like it's a uh, time stamps down low if you just want to go right to the part where we talk about Kristen being at the first game. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We are super pumped today because, because something happened yesterday that I did not expect to happen. Tell me you did not expect that to happen, Sarah. Um, I, no, I don't think anybody did. I don't think anyone did. Um, a few people might have, but. Two people, secret. Kristen and Tobin. <laughs> So what we're going to do, um, first of all, the Arsenal Man City game was yesterday and it was a fun, fun, fun game. It was super, it was an awesome game. Um, full disclosure, I did not watch it live because we actually weren't home. We, I, you know, I watched it in replay, but that's okay. Um, but it was a fun game. Um, yeah, it was a good game. It was um, hot energy. Any game that Viv and Leah Williamson score, that's a good game. I thought you were going to say any game that Viv and Tobin play in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I've just there, read... Has there been any inter interaction? Not there? really. I cannot um, even imagine. Some inter I read a comment today on um, on the video we posted yesterday saying that someone thought they, they found, like, an aloofness uh, with Tobin and Viv that, you know, they want to see, like, a Kirby Kerr type of partnership out on the pitch yeah. with them. But, you know, obviously Tobin has just joined the squad. But, I mean, if that something like that got going, you know, the chemistry that Kirby and Kerr have over at Chelsea, if they got that same chemistry they'd be unstoppable i mean they already are unstoppable well i think you need to throw them in an escape room together oh. and they need to bond and they need to escape the room and then you're golden exactly exactly that's trust yeah they need um, those, those those building exercises because uh, arsenal has those the game nights with each other so get yeah. tobin in there It'd be awesome okay so you know the, first of all we're gonna talk about the game for one second um then we're gonna talk about the main event which was kristen and tobin kristen began the game <laughs> Okay, so Man City versus Arsenal. It was a fun game. Um, you know, Man City, they're not full squad right now. You know, Lucy Bronze is still out. Kara Walsh is still out. Still out. Steph Houghton is still out. So, you know, they kind of had not their, their A squad out there, so to say. You know, they had, you know, injuries. So does that mean anything, though? Your squad is who you have at that day. So whether or not your full 100% team is there, you know, you have to put out what you have, you know. Right. Um. But they just, um, Arsenal just looked so good. It was at Meadow Park, and it was so fun to see the fans out there. 5 nil. It was a fun game. But, but, the video we did the day before, was Tobin going to play? We knew um, when they put out the starting roster that she was on sub list. So, I mean, she was ready to go. You saw her warming up. She was ready to go. You know, but even though you're on the sub list, does that mean you're going to get in the game? Not necessarily. Exactly. So it was kind of a wild game. Man City had 65% of the possession. They had 521 passes to Arsenal's 280 passes. Um, they had more pass accuracy. Um, you know, they just weren't connecting. And so it wasn't a game where they were getting blown out, really. It was just a game where they were not connecting. Um, Arsenal just, with the time they had with the ball, they made it way more productive. Um, but that being said, who comes into the 85th minute? You know, your hero and mine. You know, America's dreamboat, Tobin, Tobin Heath. Um, Tobin Heath. She comes right in the 85th minute. And just seeing her out there, you know, it was just, okay, what was your initial reaction when you saw her come out there? I th I was excited for her. I mean, you know, she's out there living her dream and she's living her best life. And, yeah, I thought it was really exciting that she got to yeah. play and yeah, really cool. So super cool. Well, she actually got a foul out of Man City. She looked, I thought she looked great. So sweet dude. They won the game. But let's go back a little bit in the game. Um, so you know, we're watching the game. I, we, like I said, I didn't see this live. Sarah and I were out for the day. We had things we had to do that day. Um, so we kind of got this later. We kind of saw DMs coming into us, but Tobin's on the bench. Um about the 20th minute of the game. So they show Tobin from the stands, you know, kind of just talking about her, that she's on the bench, first game, she's going to be, she's on the sub list, is she going to come in? Okay. Mm. So we see her. Then, directly after showing her, we see this. They would. We they see this beauty. Would. We see this beauty. She's beauty and she's great. <laughs> she's actually Miss United I know, States. see? Exactly. I'm going to read a couple comments, but people... Or freaking people were screaming, screaming. People were screaming. People were shook. People were everything because you just didn't expect it. 
A, well, number one, you know, we know that she's going on the solo backpack trip um, in Spain. So Detour. Yeah, exactly. I guess the question is, did she, is it before she's gone out already? Or has she already done the, the backpack trip? Because we don't no, really know the that timeline. Perhaps, that'd be like a minute. You don't think so? Okay. That'd be like a minute of a trip. And no, I think this is pre-trip. You think it's pre-trip. Okay. Yeah. I think there's a tiny possibility it's post trip only because i people have comments about the camino trip that she's doing there's ones that you could go on for a few days there's ones you could go for a few weeks so if she decided oh, yeah. to do like a smaller one but I, i'm guessing like you said i think it's more possible that it's pre camino rather than post camino um but she's there and so she's on the screen number one i wonder if she knows she's on the screen or thinks she's gonna be there well anyone see that look like she kind of pursed her lips for a sec oh once, when she saw and i don't yeah i don't know if they put it on the big jumbotron or whatever they call it because a lot of times they do at games the person who's ever on the jumbotron you see because you'll see the players or the fans eyes go up to the jumbotron and kind of like okay i'm on the jumbotron so but yeah but i don't know if they have one at metal park but yeah I don't know. I feel like they do because I feel like she was like, what do I do with myself? <laughs> it's so awkward when a camera is on you and then they like mention something about you and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, what do I do? Right, right. Like you try to act normal. Well, oh, like, on What me. is normal? Okay. Um, because I saw yeah, a picture. It's awkward. It, maybe if I find it, it wasn't a picture of her, the picture from the, from the, from the broadcast necessarily, but the, where she was sitting, she was in a seat kind of all by herself where it was very obvious. She was, she was, you know, she wasn't trying to hide. I, I got that. I got that. Um, she's a fan. Just, she's uh, a fan, yeah. Standing some soccer. And it's not weird for her to go see Tobin's game. To put everything else aside. Put everything else aside. It would not be weird for her to go to a game with Tobin because they were teammates at Man United. Put everything aside. That was that's the bait. That's the facts. You know what I mean? She was a teammate of Tobin Heath. But I mean, obviously, people aren't traveling. Well, I guess people are traveling with COVID because she's going to go do the Camino, even though COVID's still a thing. So even that, because I know a lot of countries aren't letting people in still because of covid there's a lot of like japan is not letting people in because australia is not letting people in there's a lot of countries that are just not letting people in but there's a lot of country on the opposite said come on in we're ready for you you know (laughs) you know what i mean come come in i hold them they hold up a sign yeah covid what yeah yeah. come on in we're ready for you (laughs) Uh, sweden was kind of like that they didn't take covid the same way as a lot of other countries they um were more like not for masks and stuff they have a herd immunity though I don't know what's going on there. Swedish people let us know. Swedish people let us know what's yeah. up. So, um, so she was there. And so she was on camera. And then if you will listen to what he says, the announcer, while she's on camera, he doesn't say anything. He doesn't say, oh, there's Kristen Press, you know, here to see support Tobin, her ex-teammate or whatever you want to say, or her teammate through U.S. Women's National Team and Man United. There was a long pause. And then they go to another video or they show someone else on camera. And then he comes back, oh, we have Kristen Press here to support. He had no idea. I, I know. That's what Sarah and I were thinking. It was almost like he did not know that um, that was Kristen Press. I mean, I'm sure he knew, but it's one of those things when you see, like, somebody who normally wears a uniform and all of a sudden they're out, not in their uniform. It's almost like. It's like seeing a teacher outside of school. Yeah. It's like it's like another dimension. Like, oh, for real? who are you? Um, when you're not in your uniform, it's almost like you look different. Um, well, I don't look so fun and I you uniforms. Where is that from? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta kick it up, anybody? So she was there. I screamed. I'm going to read a couple comments in a second, but I was not expecting... Like, when I read the DMs because Sarah and I were out, I was like, what? Kristen was there? So I'm going to read a couple comments because I thought some of them were kind of funny. But I will say, it didn't look like she was hiding, you know, just like she was in the stands. Um, but someone left this comment. I think it's so funny. They said... When I have to explain to my straight male cousins why Kristen Press is at the Arsenal Man City game, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I thought that was... That's good. That's so I thought that was super funny. And we got a lot of uh, messages say, okay, someone left this comment. Um, they go, the commenter, the commenter with the long pause. Okay, he did not know what to say to this, exclamation point. Oh my gosh. So it's, it's like the commenter didn't know, the announcer didn't know quite what to say, um... Or he didn't know it was Kristen, which I can't imagine him not knowing it was Kristen. Um, then someone you know, people are always complaining about the um, what is it, the British commentators that they don't know people's names well, and stuff. So. I remember last season, people would call Viv the most famous 
soccer, woman soccer player, uh, Mia Dima. I mean, obviously someone who doesn't follow sports or maybe a casual fan might not know, but when you're the commentator, you need to be the most up to date I mean, on everything. It's a classic Adele's Azim Adele's Azim, exactly. Situation. Someone goes, y'all, when I tell you I scream seeing CP there, Kristen Press there. Um, yeah, same. Oh, and then someone says, I was at the game and had to inform the steward that she has she has won the World Cup more than once. <laughs> yeah, she had to tell the steward that he was completely oblivious. He was completely oblivious and I was freaking out. So this person was at the game and basically says, do you see that person right there? That person has won the World Cup twice, more than once. This person probably saw so Kristen and was freaking out. And the, the, the usher was like, yeah, great. <laughs> Yeah. Fire him. Imagine, uh, <laughs> uh, imagine sitting next to Kristen Press. Be like, yeah. Exactly. So, the, you know, it was exciting to see. But overall, Kristen being there, amazing. But Arsenal, they are the team to beat. I mean, I really envision them succeeding this year, them getting to Champions League, them doing winning the Women's Super League. I mean, they are yeah. the team to beat. Um, yeah, I agree. They're going to kill it. So um, Chelsea we'll did play yesterday. They played Man United, and they kind of killed Man United yesterday, too. So, mm. I mean, Man City just looks, you know, they have injuries. Who knows when Lucy Bronze is going to come back. But Arsenal is like the team to beat. It's so exciting to watch, especially if Arsenal is the team to beat. You know, everyone thinks Viv is probably leaving next year. Go out on top. I know. It's that. Go out on top. Then win, win the league. Then go out on top yeah. and go to another team. But yeah. if Tobin can win, you know, titles and trophies for Arsenal this year, that'd be awesome for her, you know. Totes. And the, the team's just a fun team to watch. It really is. What did you guys think? Um, were you shocked to see Kristen? We, I mean, I was. Is this going to be the only game where she's going to be spotted at? You know, like I said, she wasn't hiding. She was in the stands. She was being a supportive person. So it's like, you know, and the next time we see her, are we going to be as stunned and shocked? Probably. I was going to say no. It makes sense. But I'm still going to be as stunned and shocked if we see her next time. You would. You would. Um, but and, and like people who like sports, they're professional athletes. People who are professional athletes like to go out to see any sport. You know what I mean? Just like to be in the sports atmosphere, you know? Yeah. She did look amazing. She the did. lighting, something about the lighting on her was just, she was glistening, not sweaty. Oh, is she a Cullen? Oh, Twilight. a little Twilight-esque, exactly. Maybe she had the filter. Maybe they had the filter on the camera they used. Oh, dear. <laughs> Questions, comments down below. What did you guys think? Um, yeah, we were shook. We loved it. And hope to see you in the next game. Ah! Yeah. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Love you all. Okay, bye. bye.